YouTube, what's up? It is the Anonymous Sneakerhead. I am back with another video for y'all. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, follow my Instagram at Anonymous Sneakerhead. Now, let's get into today's video. All right, y'all, so before I get into today's video, big shout out to Captain for Kicks, Captain Kirk. Um, you know what I'm saying for having me on his um, lunchtime live make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel He's on the road to a thousand subscribers. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to, to have a talk with him on his lunchtime live uh, Two days ago. So yeah, man, just make sure y'all go check that out um, And if you guys have seen that um, thank you for the new subscribers um, That came from that and as you guys heard me say in the live today I was gonna be doing my top 10 pickups of 2019 well, obviously that's not what's here today. I'm gonna drop that video for y'all on New Year's Eve. And the reason why is because of the pickup that I have for you guys right now. One of my favorite sneakers of all time. So without further ado, let's get into it right here. Boom, just got it in the mail. You can see I ripped up the shipping label. You guys don't need to see what's going on in there. So now let's get into it, man. I'm, I'm super excited about this. This is um, a go app purchase. Um, and it is, I think it's my fourth or fifth go to app purchase, but this is my first go to app purchase on a used sneaker. And I'll tell you guys why that is in a second. Let's open it up. All right, y'all. So <laughs> I am so excited, man. Sneakers and stuff. Um, New York 2015 this is kind of the the re-release of them um, but here it is I'm just gonna get into it right now you guys can see it right now sneakers and stuff sneakers and stuff Packers shoes um, it's a Reebok shoe it doesn't say Reebok on here but um 20 New York 2015 let's get right into what it is right here y'all this is one of my favorite shoes of all time as I said so those of you those of you that follow my Instagram, subscribe, have been subscribed to the channel for a little bit, you know my favorite sneaker silhouette of all time is the Reebok Kamikaze 2. And this is one of my, whoo, yes lord, <laughs> this is one of my favorite colorways. Not one of my favorite, this is my favorite. Um, of the Reebok Kamikaze 2. So I'm going to get out and let's talk about it. And yeah, go to that purchase, so. Like I said, this is a GoDap purchase. It looks like GoDap has changed their packaging a little bit, which is cool. Um, let me just get into this real quick. So in the box, is this a sticker? I hope it's a sticker because I have the StockX sticker, but if you guys know me, I'm a GoDap guy. So got a sticker right there. And what is this? That was just a punch out all the cardboard and then you have your verification sticker, which has been punched out right here. Um, this is a little different than it used to be. It could be because it's been a while since I purchased from GOAT, but who cares? I'm a little nervous because like I said, this was a used shoe. The reason why it's a used shoe is because of these. Oh my God, y'all. Look at this, man. Crazy that I have these in hand right now. Um, yeah, man. It said they were worn once on the goat app and whoever was selling these man must have been trying to get a little extra money for christmas time because they were listed for 85 dollars plus shipping and the the verification fee it came out to 101 dollars these things are going for upwards of 200 some places around 250 and uh i was able to get them so quick i ordered them on christmas i was able to get them so quick because they were already in goat storage let me get the other shoe so we can look at the tag here but yeah guys here it is man Reebok Kamikaze 2 remember the Alamo colorway my first ever sneaker that I purchased with my own money was the Reebok Kamikaze 2 Ghost of Christmas Pass I have five of these now I have six um, of these in hand um, this is by far my favorite colorway it's the colorway that I used to look up all the time like yo how can I get my hands on these how can I get my hands on these years and years ago when these first released in 2013 I think it was um, sorry so, yeah um, when they first in 2014 I think it was sorry 2014 2015 um, they were reselling for upwards of $500 at the time they came out I was in eighth grade ninth grade a little bit of tenth grade when they were still really popular so I never really had the money you know what I'm saying to grab these but it's always been 
one of my most sought after shoes. Um, the resale price, even for new pairs, has dropped now. They're around $210 on GOAT, a little more on StockX. This is a size 12. Um, and this shoe was worn once. I was a little worried. You guys can see right here. We'll start with the outsole of the shoe. I thought it was going to be a little more beat up. It looks like these might have been. I got to check and see if they were goat cleaned or if whoever owned them went and tried to ice the soles out himself. Because you can see there is a little yellowing around these panels. But that's common to see with the older shoe. Um, but it's, it's way better than I thought it would be. I thought I would have to do a lot more work on them. But I don't, which is dope. No creasing here. You got your 1996 right at the bottom of the laces then you got your tags hanging off um you got your reebok reserve tag um and then your reebok certified tag right here man it's crazy let's get back into the box because i've never seen this reebok box before you guys can see it right there 2015 reebok packer shoes um reebok kamikaze 2 mid does not have um the color listed on there size 12 as you guys can see, man, I'm sorry I'm jumping around. Um, I feel like a kid in the candy store right now. This is one of my favorite shoes of all time. I'm so happy to have it in hand. This is why I pushed back my top pickups of 2019 because this is definitely on here, man. You can just look at the condition of them. Shoe that was worn once, great condition. I love how it's, so on the, when you look at it, pictures of it online, it looks like this panel, I'll go to the outside of the shoe. It looks like this panel right here is white, but it's actually, you guys can see it compared to the white laces. It's a really, really, really light powder blue. You have your Arctic ice, um, blue ice outsole panels and the heel and the toe, which is dope. Reebok um, technology right here. I forgot what it's called, the hexagon pattern. It's really soft if you can feel them right here. The all kamikazes have them, the uh, AI questions have them on the side. Um, oh man, guys, I'm just so excited about this. Oh, the suede on the toe box, really soft suede on the toe right here you guys can see the color changing really soft 1996 um i love the shoe only complaint i guess i would say i have about it is uh, it's nothing i could do about it but if it's a 97 because that's the year i was born but that's fire um then on the tongue instead of we have the reebok logo but instead of it saying reebok it says patrick um for those of you that aren't familiar with packers shoes they do a lot of collaborations with different sneaker companies mainly reebok um which is owned by Adidas um, because I don't know why that is, but they do a lot of uh, collaborations with them making a lot of different colors. Like I said, this is called the Remember the Alamo colorway um, just to commemorate. Um, I don't even know if it was to commemorate anything to do um, with the Alamo in San Antonio. I don't really care. This shoe to me is just so fire. Uh, it's one of, it's already put itself in like the top five of the shoes that I have in my collection. I'm definitely gonna be wearing this a lot. I'm gonna put a sole shield on the outsole there just to keep it super icy. But yeah, guys, man, I'm so, as you guys can tell, man, I don't even know what to say. I'm so excited. Got my Reebok Kamikaze too. Remember the Alamo in hand, man. I'm gonna throw y'all on foot right now. Then after I'm done with the on foot, man, I'm gonna get back to y'all. You guys saw the the on foot uh, man I love this shoe so much you guys see it um, you saw the on foot I love the shoe so much man I'm gonna be wearing it a lot um, one of my best pickups of 2019 even though the shoe did not release this year make sure um, coming up like I said on New Year's Eve I will be dropping my top 10 pickups of the year this is definitely on there spoiler alert um, I also have the Jordan 3 animal instinct that's supposed to be getting delivered here on monday um so there there should be a review of those coming um before that i don't think that's going to be on my top 10 pickups but we'll see once i have it in hand man thank you all for watching the video y'all please make sure like comment subscribe trying to get to 200 subscribers goal for 2020 is to hit a thousand um yeah man just just keep showing love follow the instagram at anonymous sneakerhead once again big shout out to captain for kicks for having me on your show the other day man hope we could work together um, some more and I will see you guys at the next one. Appreciate it.